Susan Solomon born 1956 in Chicago is an atmospheric chemist, working for most of her career at the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. In 2011, Solomon joined the faculty at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, where she serves as the Ellen Swallow Richards Professor of Atmospheric Chemistry and Climate Science. Solomon, with her colleagues, was the first to propose the chlorofluorocarbon free radical reaction mechanism that is the cause of the Antarctic ozone hole. Solomon is a member of the U.S. National Academy of Sciences, the European Academy of Sciences, and the French Academy of Sciences. In 2008, Solomon was selected by Time magazine as one of the 100 most influential people in the world. She also serves on the Science and Security Board for the Bulletin of the Atomic Scientists. Topic biography Topic Early life Solomon's interest in science began as a child watching the undersea world of Jacques Cousteau. In high school she placed third in a national science fair, with a project that measured the percent of oxygen in a gas mixture. Solomon received a bachelor's degree in chemistry from Illinois Institute of Technology in 1977. She received her Ph.D. in chemistry from the University of California, Berkeley in 1981, where she specialized in atmospheric chemistry. Topic personal life Solomon married Barry Sidwell in 1988. Topic work Solomon was the head of the Chemistry and Climate Processes Group of the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration Chemical Sciences Division until 2011. In 2011, she joined the faculty of the Department of Earth, Atmospheric and Planetary Sciences at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology. Topic books The Coldest March, Scott's Fatal Antarctic Expedition, Yale University Press, 2002 ISBN 0-300-09921-5 depicts the tale of Captain Robert Falcon Scott's failed 1912 Antarctic Expedition, specifically applying the comparison of modern meteorological data with that recorded by Scott's expedition in an attempt to shed new light on the reasons for the demise of Scott's polar party. Aeronomy of the Middle Atmosphere, Chemistry and Physics of the Stratosphere and Mesosphere, 3rd edition, Springer, 2005 ISBN 1-4020-3284-6 describes the atmospheric chemistry and physics of the middle atmosphere from 10 km to 100 km altitude. The ozone hole Solomon, working with colleagues at the NOAA Earth System Research Laboratory, postulated the mechanism that the Antarctic ozone hole was created by a heterogeneous reaction of ozone and chlorofluorocarbons free radicals on the surface of ice particles in the high-altitude clouds that form over Antarctica. In 1986 and 1987 Solomon led the National Ozone Expedition to McMurdo Sound, where the team gathered the evidence to confirm the accelerated reactions. Solomon was the solo leader of the expedition, and the only woman on the team. Her team measured levels of chlorine oxide 100 times higher than expected in the atmosphere, which had been released by the decomposition of chlorofluorocarbons by ultraviolet radiation. Solomon later showed that volcanoes could accelerate the reactions caused by chlorofluorocarbons, and so increase the damage to the ozone layer. Her work formed the basis of the UN Montreal Protocol, an international agreement to protect the ozone layer by regulating damaging chemicals. Solomon has also presented some research which suggests that implementation of the Montreal Protocols is having a positive effect. Using research work conducted by English explorer and Navy officer Robert Falcon Scott, Solomon also wrote and spoke about Scott's 1911 expedition in the Coldest March, Scott's fatal Antarctic expedition to counter a long-standing argument that blamed Scott for his and his crew's demise during that expedition. Scott attributed his death to unforeseen weather conditions, an argument that was largely debunked by British journalist and author Roland Huntford. Huntford claimed that Scott had been a prideful and underprepared leader. Solomon later came around in Scott's defense and said, "...modern data side squarely with Scott," to explain the unusual weather conditions in 1911. <laughs> Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change Solomon served the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change. She was a contributing author for the Third Assessment Report. She was also co-chair of Working Group 1 for the Fourth Assessment Report. Topic. Awards 2018 Crawford Prize in Geosciences 2018 Bakarian Lecture 2017 Arthur L. Day Prize and Lectureship by the National Academy of Sciences for Substantive Work in Atmospheric Chemistry and Climate Change 
2015 honorary doctorate honoris causa from Brown University. 2012 Vetlison Prize for work on the ozone hole shared with Jean Jusel. She was the first woman to receive this prize. 2012 BBVA Foundation Frontiers of Knowledge Award in the Climate Change category 2010 Service to America Medal, awarded by the Partnership for Public Service 2009 Volvo Environment Prize, awarded by the Royal Swedish Academy of Sciences 2009 Inducted into the National Women's Hall of Fame 2008 Grande Medaille Great Medal of the French Academy of Sciences 2007 received the Nobel Peace Prize along with Albert Gore, Jr. 2007 William Bowie Medal, awarded by the American Geophysical Union 2006 inducted into the Colorado Women's Hall of Fame 2006 VM Goldschmidt Award 2004 Blue Planet Prize, awarded by the Asahi Glass Foundation 2000 Carl Gustav Rossby Research Medal, awarded by the American Meteorological Society 1999 National Medal of Science, awarded by the President of the United States 1994 Solomon Glacier 78 degrees 23 s 162 degrees 30 e, an Antarctic glacier named in her honor 1994 Solomon Saddle 78 degrees 23 s 162 degrees 39 e, a snow saddle at about 1850 meters 6070 feet elevation named in her honor 1991 Henry G. Houghton Award for Research in Physical Meteorology, awarded by the American Meteorological Society References External links Oral History Interview with Susan Solomon, 5 September 1997 American Meteorological Society Oral History Project. UCAR Archives.